Hey guys, it is officially 2023. This is my first video and I'm super excited. I'm not gonna have a set schedule. I have two little kids. I do have a full-time job. This is my side thing. This is something that I just enjoy doing. Um, and so I don't wanna be too, too hard on myself if I can't get a video out once a week or every day, you know, when I have time. So with that getting, with that being said, um, I do want to do just a simple makeup look today, just to start off the year. What is it? Just to kickstart the year or some no lashes, like that. a little um, bit of eyeshadow. And that's it. I just want to and see what do a simple goes. make. Since this is barely the second week of January, I just want to give a little um, rundown of how 2022 went. It wasn't my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. There were you know, some things that did go on uh, last year that were just, you know, puts you a little bit of like on the struggle bus. I was just completely ready to leave 2022 in the back. I, I didn't want it anymore. I didn't want it here. It was just a lot mentally, emotionally, physically. The highlight was my um, husband, my in-laws, my two kids and I um, traveled to Disney World. So we were actually in Disney World for the week of Christmas. We left on the 22nd and came back on the 27th. I actually turned 33 on the 26th. I'm a after Christmas baby, I know. And so anyway, yeah, I had a lot of fun on the trip. I can say that I won't do Christmas away from my extended family again. I missed my mom, I missed my sisters, I missed my cousins, all the kids getting together. I'm very, very, very traditional when it comes to the holidays or Christmas. So I was really sad that I was gone, but hey, I had fun. The only thing is, is that of the entire year, without knowing, of course, because we planned it earlier in the year, we go to Florida when the winter storm is coming in. Or I remember one day we were waiting for the bus to go to... Um, I want to say it was Animal Kingdom and it was 29 degrees at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, if I'm not mistaken. Mind you, we're waiting outside because, you know, we have to wait for the bus. We were like, never again. Like, this is shit. It was way too damn cold. Um, so that was the highlight of my 2022. Me going in with the e.l.f. grip primer. I really like e.l.f.'s stuff, so if you want to send me some stuff, I'd be more than happy to accept it. And that is going to be my motto for the whole year. If you want to send me stuff, makeup brands, athletic wear, whatever, I don't care. If you want to send it to me to try it out, I gladly will. I started working out again. I took off, well, really and truly, I took off November and December. Um, I wasn't doing it as much as I as I could have as I could have pushed myself to do it But I'm not really too worried about it. I knew I was gonna fall off with the holidays coming around and I was just I was expecting it. Um for foundation I'm going in with the makeup revolution and it's a big-ass bottle. This is the first time that I've actually um, Bought something from them and I really like it. I took it with me when we went out of town um, And I was pretty impressed Oh, I got texture. I'm going in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I almost forgot. I'm going to go in with the Milani um, Cream Blush. This is in Cheek Kiss. It's actually really pretty. I've dipped into it already. I remember I was talking to one of my uh, one of my cousins. And she was telling me, you know, you should start working out. And I'm like, I want to, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. Because... I never liked it. I didn't care for it. It just wasn't my thing. And she's like, try this lady. So she told me about um, a trainer called, a trainer, Sydney Cummings on YouTube. And I've been doing her workouts since June of 21 is when I started working out. Instead of going in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty one. I don't remember what I did. I don't remember if I saw something on, on Instagram, if I saw, I don't know. And it was, it was a quote or something and it was like get your basically saying get your ass up and fix something about yourself if you don't like it if you don't like it do something about it you can't be sitting in the same spot forever expecting change and I was like oh like like that's rude <laughs> 
in my mind I was like, y'all don't have to be so damn mean, but it makes sense. It really and truly made a lot of sense. And so after that, I was like, you know what? It's true. I'm going to get off my ass. I'm going to do what I need to do. If I don't like it, I'm going to fix it. Nobody else is going to be there to do it for me. They obviously can't. Going in with the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It, it took me a few months to get to the to the point where I was like, okay, this is this is what works for me. I was doing the afternoon workouts and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start off slow, do what I can. So then I started doing the afternoon workouts and then I noticed that I was getting like extremely hard on myself if I didn't work out. And so anyway, with that, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do what I can when I can. I'm eventually going to find a balance. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Now I get up as early as I possibly can, which is like, I try to get up at, I try to get out of bed at 5.30 so I can start by 5.40, the latest. You know, get up, pee, brush your teeth, get your energy drink or whatever, your water. Um, but lately, since, uh, since my little ones are back at school and Christmas is, you know, officially over, the holidays are done, it is taking me a little bit, it's, it's gotten a little bit harder to get up, so I'm getting up at six. Eyebrow collection. Uh, as far as YouTube goes, I'm going to try my hardest to get as many videos out as I possibly can. When I have chance, when I have chance, when I have time, um, I will. I think I'm going to use this today. This is from e.l.f. I wanted to get the one from Anastasia, but when I found the dupe, I was like, I don't know that I want to spend that much. For YouTube, what I'm going to do is put out as many videos as I possibly can. I'm going to try my hardest to not be so hard on myself because last I have last year I did film last year because it was so long ago. Actually, it was because it's been about five months, six months. The last videos I filmed, I didn't upload them. One, because I was lazy and didn't want to edit them. Because for as much as I love doing makeup and this whole thing, I don't like sitting there and editing. And because of that, I didn't upload as much as I could have. So my goal for 2023 is to actually upload, is to actually edit and upload what I'm filming. 2023, more makeup, more content, more videos. I'm gonna go in with the Translucent palette, this one. This one I felt super cool because I filled out a form and it was like, if you fill out this form, you might be chosen to get a uh, an item, you know, to, what is it? An item to like test out and give your opinion on Ulta Beauty. It, I did link that video somewhere below, but I actually really do like it. So I felt super cool when I got the email that was like, you've been chosen. That's pretty. So what are your goals for this year? This is going to be a great year. I'm going to get a lot of things done. I'm manifesting it. I'm speaking it into existence. I actually really like this color. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Araceli Beauty liner in brown. I'm speaking it into existence. Anyway, I'm going to get my hair cut this weekend, hopefully. Uh, I went and got it done. I cut it back in August. The lady who cut my hair, I've been to her before. I've been to her several times. Um, my hair was very uneven. So I went back for her to fix it. And it was still uneven. This was back in August. So I just told myself I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to cut it anymore. I'm going to let it grow out a little bit because I don't want it to be shorter than what it, what it already was. I'm either going to have the lady... Um, I'm either going to have her cut it again to above my shoulders or see if there's a way she can fix it. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm pretty sad because I was hoping that my hair would be just a little bit longer by now and that's not the case. For mascara, I'm going to go in with this one from e.l.f. This is the Lash and Roll Mascara Curling and Lifting Clean and Vegan Formula. There's the one. Before I use the mascara, I do want to try out this, this uh, setting spray from NYX. I picked this up from 
Target too. It's a multitasking spray, sensitive skin friendly, and it's Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. And this is the bottle. Ugh, I don't want to spray it. Okay. Mmm. Mm, it smells good. Balls. It gives a dewy glow. I get oily and it gets hot here, so I won't be able to use that as like a, I'm going out for the night and I need my makeup to sit for hours. That's like a. I'll be back kind of thing <laughs> for me anyway now I'm gonna go in with the mascara damn I actually like it so first impression I actually really do like this mascara next I'm going in with highlighter and this is the one from Jaclyn cosmetics and this is in mesmerized I'm going in with the Laura Lee Los Angeles highlighter uh, brush my lips I'm gonna go in with Alamar cosmetics in birthday suit I need to sharpen this. I did notice that this side is more rounded and this side is more of like a like an arch. So I have to a little bit like right here on the side. So I have to even it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with this Ultimate Maybelline New York Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in the shade Mora Sepia 688. Now, I'm gonna go in with a gloss. This is from Maybelline. This is the color gloss and this is in shade 002 Ice. I actually really like this gloss. I've already manifested where I wanna be this coming year. Um, I'm gonna put it out on the internet for everybody to see. I would like for makeup brands to notice me. That's it. Just notice, just engage in one of my posts, maybe this video. I have had a couple already and I do feel really damn cool every time I get a notification like, you know, so-and-so brand liked your picture or so-and-so brand commented and I'm like, oh my God. It's just, it's so cool to me and I don't know, I, I love it. I love doing makeup, I have so much fun with it. You know, we're gonna achieve our, I wouldn't say attempt, we're gonna, achieve our goals keep a clear mindset of what you want for 2023 you can absolutely do anything you set your mind to uh, cheesy i know thanks for watching and please like this video comment of anything in particular you want to see i will try my best because i'm working on those things too thank you love you bye because 2023 is a year of working on yourself and loving yourself Done.